All right, so one of the things that I learned when I was using After Effects for this project uh, was how to make individual letters on a text layer spin by themselves. Uh, so what you're going to want to do here is create a new composition. Uh, we'll go with 1920 by 1080 uh, at the frame rate of 29.97 uh, with the uh, background color black. And uh, so what we'll do here is uh, I like to fit my composition uh, to the screen here. Um, so we will go ahead and create a new text layer. And uh, then uh, just type whatever word you want in there. Just do spin for the sake of this video. Oops. All right. And then we'll center that word as best we can. All right. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to layer and then create and then create shapes from text. And this will separate out the uh, outlines of each letter so that you can directly edit them. And so from here, uh, we'll go down to the, you can see that there are uh, properties for each letter in the word. So we'll start with S and uh, go down to the transform properties. Uh, we'll zoom in a bit here. All right. So what you're going to want to do is select uh, this first letter and you're going to press Y on your keyboard, which will bring up the anchor point tool. And find the anchor point right here. And you're going to want to, for, uh, for what I'm doing, you'll want to put the anchor point at the middle of the letter as best you can. It's a little bit tricky. You kind of just got to figure out where the, where the middle of the letter, letter is. So, and it helps to hold control or command while you're clicking. Um, control on Windows, Command and Mac. And uh, we'll move that anchor point right there to the middle, just like that. And then we will uh, set the keyframe for uh, the beginning by clicking this little stopwatch here. And then depending on how long you want uh, the effect to last for, uh, you press the space bar and then just press the space bar again. We'll say it will be around two seconds. And then we'll hit the next keyframe. And then we'll edit the rotation. So you can do this either by typing in an actual amount of rotations. So let's say like three. Or you could also edit the, the uh, angle here too. So if we go back and replay, the letter spins three times in two seconds. And then you can go ahead and repeat this for as many letters as you'd like. Um, a cool effect that I did in my video was I had uh, one letter spin and then stop, and then it would stop uh, as another letter was also spinning so that they would kind of spin and stop in succession. Uh, but yeah. So it's a little bit tricky, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's a pretty cool effect.